everyone. I am Brandon Sewell. I am the owner of Seal Pro Painting, and I am also a brand ambassador for Jobber. I wanted to do this video just to show you the pricing plans for Jobber, uh, go over some of the features, and then jump in to our Jobber and show you the different settings that you can get set up and hopefully help you get a great start to using Jobber so that you have the best experience possible. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. All right, so here we have my Jobber uh, dashboard here. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go here and show you the pricing. Now, um, they have four different price plans that you can use. And if you go to getjobber.com, you can obviously go on here, read through each uh, of the different plans that you have to choose from, look at the different features that they have to offer. Now, us personally, we have been on the grow plan for a few years. Uh, we started out on the connect um, and quickly decided that we wanted some of the additional features that grow had to offer and no regrets at all. It's been amazing. It only helped um, that cost is definitely justified by the features that are offered. Um, so really quick uh, run through here. You have the light plan, which is the cheapest plan. You'll have one user yourself. Um, and then you can go up to the core plan. Same thing, one user yourself. Um, and you're going to be limited on the features, which you can see down here. Uh, then you go to the connect. Now, this is if you have employees um, that are going to need to be on there and have access. Um, you have one to five users there and uh, some additional uh, features. Um, then you have the highest plan, which is the grow plan. Um, that's one to 15 users and a lot of features that are added on there um, that'll help you grow your business. Uh, so those are the plans. Once again, we are on the grow. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. Now, what I want you to see is when you first get started off on Jobber, um, you want to go into your settings and you're going to want to go through each and every single one of these items over here on the left hand side and get everything set up. Uh, you're going to put in your company information. Um, if you offer any type of uh, service where you can do online booking or anything like that, or even for your request forms, you're going to want to put your hours of operation. Uh, branding, this is going to be for how you set up your uh, quotes that get sent out to your customers and what that's going to look like, how you want that to show up. Um, then next, you have your products and services. This is where you could uh, put in any custom templates that you want to. For us, we have a few different packages for interior painting and a few different pa uh, packages for exterior painting. And so when we go and quote a job, it's quick and easy for us to choose one of those templates, modify the information as needed, and do our pricing. Um, next is your custom fields. This is really important for re your reports. Uh, so you have the ability to run reports. Uh, you want to for like for us, we added in a lead source field um, so that we know where our leads are coming from and we can uh, run some, get some data to help us understand which leads are performing the best. But anyway, you can go in, customize those fields. Um, think of the things that you would want to show up from the time your client uh, comes in as a lead and the information you want them to put in and how you want that to follow through um, the client journey so that when you're running reports, um, whether it's on, you know, your customer uh, database and, you know, managing those relationships or quotes, um, knowing where they came or where the leads came from, um, how much, uh, you know, your average ticket prices per lead, you know, those kind of things that you're going to want to know as a business owner. Um, next, you have jobber payments, which you can get set up. I'm going to skip past that. Um, jobber payments is essentially just how you're going to take your uh, customer's payments on Jobber with a card. Um, and then you're also going to be able to um, have them pay their, uh, again, their deposits, their balance, and they can leave tips um, on a card. Uh, so definitely get Jobber payments uh, set up. That's going to make it so much easier for you to get paid 
um, not have to be chasing around checks or cash. Um, job or payments just makes things so much smoother. Uh, then you also have expense tracking that you can set up. Um, we definitely use this. You can go in and put in different accounting codes that you may have for your business. Um, you have where you can manage your team, have your work settings, and then you have your schedule. Um, you can assign, you know, different colors to your different teams and you have route optimization. We actually don't use that because we don't do multiple jobs a day. We're usually on one job for multiple days. Uh, then you have your job forms. Those are just forms you can attach to the job so your crew can pull them up. Um, and they can do like a checklist to make sure that they're doing everything that they need to on a job. Then you have your client communication. This is going to be pretty important um, as far as like what you want to show up in your client hub um, and what they have, what your clients have access to um, in the client hub. Emails and text messages. This is going to be like um, where you can go in and edit uh, your automated follow-ups for quotes. Um, reminders uh, for jobs coming up, reminders for invoices and the communication and timing that you want to customize for that. Uh, Two-way text messaging, getting that set up and having a dedicated phone number. Um, that's really great for having just all of your information in one place and a place for your employees to communicate with your customers as well. Um, here you can go in and uh, just put in your custom questions for your form that you can put on Google, on your website and social media and anywhere you want um, your customers to be able to uh, fill out your booking form uh, so that they automatically come in as a lead uh, into Jobber. Um, next, you have your online booking. We don't use that, but if you have a service that you offer online booking for, you could utilize that. Then last but not least, you have your connected apps and managing those. Now, this is one of my favorite parts about Jabber, bringing just everything into one place as much as possible to manage the business. Um, I'm going to go over here to the apps so you can see the different apps and integrations that Jabber has to offer. Um, so you have Jabber Payments, which is connected through Stripe uh, to take customer um, uh, cards as a form of payment. And then you have nice job, love this for getting reviews and referrals. It's automated when you integrate it. So when you invoice a client, review and referral request goes out automatically. They're gonna get um, follow-up reminders. I think it's over like a course of four weeks um, or four different times that they'll receive that um, follow-up to leave a review. And uh, if you get Jobber, and you set up nice job, I promise you, you are going to get more reviews. Um, these are some of the other apps that you can use. Some that I'm familiar with would be like Blue Line for or Blue Vine for a line of credit, uh, Company Cam, a lot of home service business owners are familiar with that. Funbox, another line of credit. Um, we actually use Funbox here at Seal Pro Painting. Uh, MailChimp, we use that for newsletters, Next Insurance for our workers' comp. We do have QuickBooks Online linked. Um, we do use uh, SendGym, which is sending out like postcards, direct mail, uh, things like that. And then we use WiseTac uh, to offer financing to our customers right on our quotes. So that is um, basically a quick little run through of uh, getting your Java account set up and the settings. What I will say is that you are probably going to have to, over the course of time, uh, modify it as, you know, as needed. You're going to see what works best for you and what doesn't. Um, but this is a great place to get started once you sign up for Jobber. Make sure you're utilizing um, as many of the features that Jobber has to offer to make sure that you're running the most efficient business possible um, that's going to help serve you, your customers, and your employees. So if you are interested in signing up for Jobber, please click on the link below. I've got a ambassador's referral link that you can use with a special discount uh, for 20% off when you sign up. And you can also do a 14 day free trial. Anyway, I hope this video helps you just get a little insight into Jobber. Um, and please reach out to me if you have any questions or 
um, you just like to bounce some different things off of me in regards to Jobber and um, maybe help with making your decision on moving forward with using Jobber as your field service management software. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for some more detailed videos and tutorials that I'll go into on the specific features in Jobber. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.